Okay, so today we are going over the rarest items in Fortnite history. So this does include skins and more, so it's going to be a bunch of different stuff. And starting off, it is going to be the Indigo Kuno skin. Now only 6,000 people in the world actually own this skin, so it is a very rare and exclusive skin. And you did have to compete in the Generations Cup, which was a PlayStation exclusive tournament. So it was limited to only PlayStation players. And you had to do really well in this tournament to unlock the skin. So only 6,000 people actually own this. So if you own this skin, you've got one of the rarest items in the entire game. And obviously we have to mention the Renegade Raider. The skin was lost in the item shop over 1,800 days ago. In the season shop in season 1, everyone knows about this skin. And it's obviously worth a mention in this video, one of the rarest skins in the entire game, but we all know this. But something we may not know about is the brilliant bomber skin now. Anyone who actually owns this skin could actually get banned since this skin was never officially released. And somehow some players managed to actually unlock the skin and use it in game. I'm not sure how they did this, but this skin it never officially released in the item shop. Maybe in the future they will bring it out, hopefully, because it is a pretty cool skin and when it was first leaked, we all thought it was going to get introduced into the item shop, but it never officially released, so maybe in the future it will release, but as of right now, it's not even available. Now, one thing that is one of the rarest items in the entire game is the X of Champions pickaxe. Now, this is by far the most difficult item to unlock in the entire game, and literally 14 players actually own this, so two players from each server could actually unlock it. So that's literally 14 players out of millions of players who play this game so it's a very rare pickaxe i doubt anyone watching this owns it it's literally so rare and obviously you have to compete to actually unlock this pickaxe and yeah it's very rare you have to compete and yeah you've got to be pretty insane at the game to actually be able to unlock this and something that i didn't know about is the eee -E -E spray only a thousand codes were actually given out for this spray so yeah, it's pretty interesting. Obviously, it is only a spray, so people aren't really that interested in it. If it was a skin, then people would try and get it a lot more, but only 1,000 codes were available to actually unlock this spray, so it is actually a very rare spray, and actually one of the rarest sprays in the game. And speaking of sprays, the Solo Showdown spray, this was unlocked in the first ever competitive event in Fortnite during 2018, so this was a very long time ago. This was the first ever competitive event as well, so not many people actually unlocked this, not many people even competed in this tournament, so it's a very rare spray, and yeah, it's also one of the rarest sprays in the entire game. And something that not many people own at all is the Insignia Backbling, and this is actually exclusive to China players. This was obviously released a very long time ago, back in Chapter 1 actually. And you can only get this back bling if you play on the China servers now. This is actually very difficult to obtain. You literally have to be from China to be able to unlock this. You can't put your servers on China or whatever. You have to actually play the China version of Fortnite to actually be able to own this back bling. So it's very rare and very difficult to obtain and one of the rarest back blings in the entire game. Now, another item that is a China exclusive is the Pointer Pickaxe. Now, this was unlockable over 1,600 days ago, so another very rare item there, along with a back bling. This pickaxe is also one of the rarest in the entire game. When it comes to pickaxes, other than the Axe of Champions, this is actually the rarest pickaxe in the entire game. A very exclusive skin, and not many people at all managed to get their hands on this. And something that I didn't even know existed is the emoticon cameo needs loot. Now this is a very exclusive emoticon. Only 15 players in the entire world actually own this emoticon. It's very rare, just like the Axe of Champions. Only a handful of people actually own it. And yeah, this is just incredibly rare. Now how you could actually unlock this skin was by competing in the Lantography contest. And you could then redeem a code. This was during Chapter 3 Season 2. But only a handful of people actually managed to redeem a code and unlock this emoticon. Again, it is only an emoticon, so people aren't really missing out on anything, but it is pretty cool to own something this rare. So only 15 people actually own this, which is actually insane, and I didn't even know about this either. But those are some of the rarest items in the game. Obviously, there are a lot of other rare skins and stuff, but these are some of the rarest ones that you might not know about. And if you did enjoy the video, then don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more. And there's a load more videos on screen here. Make sure to click another one to keep on watching, and I'll see you over there.